Oh! Uh, hey there. Hello? Hey, you were over at the restaurant the other night. I'm the soldier that met you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't recognize you with the armor. Yeah, I'm off duty for now. I never did catch your name. My name is Sarah. What about you? Grithon. Well, it's nice to meet you, Grithon. Yeah, I can see you've got a book there. Are you into reading? Oh, this? No, this is actually a kid's book. I got it for my little sister. I don't get to see her much, so I thought this would be a nice surprise. I see. Uh, how have things been going with him? Well, that's kind of the reason I don't get to see my sister. Is there anything I can do to help? Not sure, but thanks for the offer. Well, I guess I should be heading off then. It was nice talking to you. Wait, there, um, I suppose there is something you could do. And what would that be? We could hang out, I guess? Sure, sounds good to me. Thanks. Do you want to come up to my place tonight, actually? Like, just for a dinner? Well, I, um, I suppose that's possible. Great! You're not turning this into a date, are you? No, of course not. Not until... Wait, never mind. I didn't say that. Not until what? N nothing. We're just... We're having a dinner together as friends. That I can do. Come on, then. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, well, we've uh, finally arrived at your place. Thanks for the book, Sarah. I'm a big girl, girl now because I was just fine while our parents were away. All right, Lily, you're a big girl now. I know I, I know I was worried about it, but it looks like you managed. Lily, this is Grithon. Grithon, this is Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> She's a little shy, Grithon. Anyway, this is our home. It's not much, but it works. So, she was home by herself all day? Yes, something came up last minute, so our parents were busy today. Lily was fine, though. This is generally a safe area, and the neighbors are ready to help. Well, that's good. That's good, I suppose. I just know where, th I just know where there were several incidents that I had to uh, take care of. I know. So, what do you think we should have for dinner tonight? We have pizza, chicken, chi pizza, chicken wings, or hot dogs. Um. Uh, you know what? Pizza sounds good to me. You're right, pizza does sound good. The one I bought from the store has green peppers, mushrooms, bacon, pork, garlic, and some nice alfredo sauce covered with parmesan and some garlic on the crust. Wow, Sarah, that sounds like a really great pizza. So, what's the book you got Lily about? I mean, it's a kid's book, well, middle schooler's book because Lily's 12, but it's actually pretty interesting from what I, I've heard about it. Okay, she's not listening right now, so I can spoil it. <laughs> Basically, the premise is a knight goes to the moon to try and slay a dragon, so a hunter and another knight rescue him. But the knight started to go insane after being in isolation for so long. Then it's later revealed that the knight's memories were being replaced by a dark lord's memories because he was literally turning into the dark lord. Wow, that's actually pretty intense. Someone should turn that into a movie. What's the name of the book? It's called Dragoria's Fate because the Dark Lord wants to restore the kingdom of Dragoria that the dragon in the beginning of the story destroyed. I think there is a movie based on the book, but it's 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 old and pretty cheesy. A remake would be pretty awesome. Yeah, it probably would be good. Let's see here. Dinner doesn't start for a few hours. Why don't we go get some ice cream and hang out at the park for a few hours? 
Ah, uh, sounds good to me. Hey, Lily. We're going to we're going to the park and getting ice cream. You're coming with us. Can I just stay here and read my book? No, we can read that later. I'll pay for your ice cream. Whew. Park's pretty nice. Well, Grathon, how's life treating you as a soldier? I mean, it's alright, I suppose. Recently it's been bad, though. Riots are getting more common. I know. Riots ruin everything. Makes people afraid to admit who they are. Yeah, really makes you feel bad for the Zaynar. Well, I wasn't referring to... Never, never mind. Forget I said anything. Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. You just probably wouldn't understand. Most people don't. So, what do you do for a living? I actually work as an architect. It's nice designing structures that people can live in. There honestly needs to be a lot more creativity in our tenor. Most of these buildings look exactly the same. Plus, they're all torn up because of... Well, you know. Yeah. Don't worry, though. Once we eliminate them, everything should be good. Might take a while, though. Just don't think all of them are like that. Because they're not. Well, why would you defend them? I'm not, I'm not. I just don't judge a book by its cover. Is all I'm saying. Dragorius fight... Fate had a bad generic cover that a lot of people, a lot of generic books have, but the story's good. Same deal with people. You never know when you'll find that one gem. I suppose you're right. I just have yet to find that gem. Well, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is to just be open to that possibility. Okay, if you want me to. Thanks. So, do you have any siblings? What's your family like? Honestly, I'm not really sure. I was adopted at a young age. I might have a twin brother, but the memory's a little hazy. I see, and you've been a soldier, soldier here since... Uh, they let you join when you're 15, so that's when I started. Remember being really eager to join. Why is that? Honestly, I'm not sure. This may sound weird, but... But what? I don't know. It's like someone else made the decision for me. Similar to the knight in Lily's book? Grathon, will, will you be able to help us tonight? Sir, what's going on? Is there another riot? Oh no, don't worry. This isn't urgent. We can wait until tomorrow if you have plans tonight. We received word that there will be another riot next week. One more bloody than the rest. If they heard of Zaynar, all members in that riot can be legally killed if the commanding officer sees fit. I'm letting you take charge of this one. I see. You don't have to make your decision tonight. Decision? Are you saying that Zaynar will be hurt? Their plan said they would traumatize any Zaynar that refuses to see reason. It'll be bad. You have two days to decide whether or not your unit is permitted to kill them. I... I see. Grithon, please don't. You seriously expect me to let them live? Remember what I told you about hidden gems? Please. I highly doubt there's any gems in that group. Well, think about it. Sparing them can produce gems. Some might change if they see that you're merciful. And how likely is that? Zero percent if you kill them. Rathon, this decision will change the course of the war. You want this madness to end, right? That's not happening if you don't show mercy. Well, let's hope it's worth it. They're not all like that, I swear. Ooh. So, Grithon, who is that guy you were talking to? Uh, his name's Thanin. He's a rink ahead of me. I see. How are you enjoying the pizza? 
This pizza is absolutely amazing. Did you come up with it? Yes, actually. Although I didn't make it. Swampy Pizza has an option where you can create your own pizza, so I tried this one and it was good. Such a good pizza place. Really is. Hey Grathon, this might sound like a weird question, but does the idea of a multiverse sound crazy to you? By a multiverse, do you mean where there's different versions of us? No, not at all. Most people assume that's what a multiverse would have to be like, but it doesn't. Think about it, that concept was introduced in movies, but who's to say that reality can be different from movies? Like, what if there's a dimension where everything has a different lighting and aliens exist? Or one where it looks similar to our world, but there's different cultures and kingdoms, but there wouldn't be another version of me or you in it? Like, instead of thinking of a multiverse as a different universe depending on the decisions that could have been made, but more like we have the real world and then the world of Dragoria's fate. Interesting. Most people don't think of it that way. Why are you asking, by the way? I don't know. I mean, there's some dreams that feel very real but don't take place in our world. I'm sure they're just dreams, but sometimes it's just fun to wonder. I guess. Reality can be boring sometimes. Well, you never know. Maybe one day we'll both travel through different universes together. Uh... Sarah, you know we're not dating, right? Oh, um, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> anyway, it's getting late. I should head out. Wait, where are your parents? They, um... They got caught up in a meeting today. Let's just say I don't always like what my parents do. If you think it's bad, blame them, not me. I'm different from them. Whoa, no one's blaming you, okay? I was just wondering. Sorry. I mean, you're right, though. It is getting late. You going to be okay? I should be, thanks. I guess I'll see you later, then. Stay, with, stay safe with the riot. Thanks. I will. Ugh. Um, Kadogar? Are you okay? Your eyes glazed over all of a sudden and you couldn't hear me. I... I'm Kadogar? Kadogar, do you really not remember who you are? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. My name is Grathon. Grathon? Do you remember what we're doing or who I am? No, I just woke up here. Okay, um, does the term Dragoria mean anything to you? Uh, I've, I've heard of it, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay, okay. I know this is going to sound strange to you right now, but your real name is Kadogar. You've had several moments where you can't remember your past, but you always think you're someone named Grathon. This, is, this has been happening very frequently, but you always manage to wake up and remember who you are. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Where am I? We're close to our tenor. In, in approximately two hours, a meeting is supposed to take place here. Kadogar, do you trust me? What's your name? My name is Skyla. Four months ago, you asked me to marry you, but we haven't been able to due to the war we're involved in. We're on the same side. We love each other desperately. You've been going in and out of this phase where you'll forget, but I know you'll come back to me. You always do. Kadogar, do you trust me right now? Yeah, I, I trust you. I trust you, but I have memories of another life. I know, Kadigar. I know. You just got to realize that those memories aren't real. So what's this meeting about? Listen, we just slayed the Moon Dragon and didn't realize that she had a following. This cult is known as the Order of the Six Stars, and supposedly one of their leaders is going to be in the meeting. 
Different colored uniforms represent different ranks, the red being a fighter rank while the white being a higher position in authority. You were able to create replicas of the uniforms and were in disguise waiting for their leader to show up so we can kill him. Believe me, Kavagar, these are bad people and they need to be stopped. So what's the plan? Just let me do the talking and as soon as they turn around to leave, we strike. Do you know how to fight? Yes, Kadogar. We both fought side by side to slay Morton. If we can kill the Moon Dragon, we can kill her followers. 